all traditional warrior cultures understand that once you have gone off to boot camp and become a warrior, that that sets you on a different path, which is going to last through the lifespan. What are some things that has changed your life, changed your perspective on things? Uh, um, the whole deployment. The price of war is, is a man, or, or millions of men and women, that relive those, those horrors every single day of their life. Every day. Like, I, I always felt like I gave up a piece of my soul. That's what I put it when we deployed. Like, you come home different, yeah, like mentally, physically, whatever, but I felt like a piece of my soul was gone. Everything that I was in my whole career, my whole path, everything that I wanted to do, it was stripped away from me. It's not about what you did or didn't do in Iraq or Afghanistan. It's about just not feeling right. The lowest time was just thinking that I was all alone in it. Just thinking, well, all these other guys are fine. Like, why am I, why am I not the hard, tough veteran that's not affected? Suicide deaths outnumber combat deaths now for four years running. I realized that I did not care if I lived or died. Would it be easier if I wasn't here? Well, yeah. You know, I'm tired of this. I should have died in Iraq. I'm pissed at God that I didn't die in Iraq, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill myself. One in six Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans had post-traumatic stress disorder last year. We have a record year. number of 22 servicemen and women committing suicide every single day in this country. I attempted suicide. I, I just, uh, I don't know, I just, quit. you go seek that help it's crossing that LOD but in a different way you're not going after danger you're going after love you're going after caring you're going after a foundation you're going after a family you're going after what you need to be to function and and to feel whole again I didn't need to act as, as if I were a victim because I'm not you know we're victors all of us if you wore the uniform and you're here and you're breathing you're a victor. Congratulations, you made it. You know, do good with that. There's a path. There's a successful, happy, prosperous, conducive path, you know, in front of all these guys. They just need to be able to find that path. You don't have to fight this fight by yourself. Just like we always said in the military, one team, one fight. Two is one, one is none. Don't be a statistic. Don't be a hard ass. Get the help. Be a brother or a sister to me, and I'll be a brother to you. It's you to be able to take that step forward and not a sign of weakness uh, to say, I need help, but a sign of closure so that I can give back to my fellow veterans and give back to my community, I can give back to my family. And you can't do that until you've been able to close this door. Part of all of this is that validation and support that everyone depends on when they're injured is gone and you've been made to feel like you're worthless. You're a faker, you're a malingerer, everybody's just looking for disability. None of the reasons you went in the military for, you know? And it's devastating. But there is hope. There's more than hope, there is treatment.
Because if you take out the war and the killing and, and, and all the ugliness, the core of what we did and who we are is something beautiful.